Hello everyone, I'm BPD and welcome back to Exoria. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all fantastic. I'm doing pretty well myself. So, unfortunately I wasn't able to get on too awfully much in between episodes. So, a lot of the stuff that I did was mostly just preparation. A little bit of other things here and there, but mostly just preparation. Like, I expanded the lasers here. Uh, these engines are pretty much good enough to power two of them. And there are not better engines. There are not better... There's the Sterling ones, but those require, like, liquid fuel and stuff. And, that eh, it's not... Not gonna do that. So, this is the setup we got going on. I also did... Uh, made all the presses. The molds for the presses for the, uh, presser. Uh, you know, other... Other just grindy stuff. Like, get this material for what we're gonna be doing today. Get steel, etc., etc. Anyway, we're just gonna jump into what we're gonna be doing today. And that is... Kind of just prog general progression, I guess. We're going to be doing a lot of er, forestry machines, but I would like to hopefully unlock the next like tab, the tech progression tab. And I think you get it from this guy right here, New Art of Crafting. So that's what we're kind of aiming for today. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing on the agenda is this right here. It's an uh, automated workbench, which is like the... Uh, Engineer's workbench. It's an automated version of that, I guess. Let's just go ahead and craft that bad boy now. I do have this, and I have this right here. So, let me just go ahead and go to the workbench page. I think I'm on it, right? Uh, well, not anymore. <laughs> there we go. Workbench and projector. And there we go. And that's just going to go. I don't know if I'm going to use this because it's kind of clunky. And I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but we're going to go ahead and try it out at least. So let's go ahead and get the items we need onto our hot bar here. Nope. There we go. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, oh, I don't have scaffolding. Need some scaffolding. There we go. Okay. That should be everything. So one, two three four five and then you go there and you two and one of you and then we have conveyor belts going in weird directions like so i believe and this guy goes right <laughs> right there you two go there and then we have two Planks. And this one is not turned correctly. These, like, the way they're supposed to be turned, I don't know, it's it's weird. Very, very weird to me. Or maybe I just don't understand how the conveyor belts work. Where's my hammer? There it is. Hammer, hammer. Oh, okay, and just go ahead and turn this. There we go. And I think you click here. Uh, you cannot form this multi-block. Further progression is required. What? <laughs> Whoa, that's a whole lot of errors there. What am I doing wrong here? Am I crazy? It's saying I can't form it. I think it did that for the metal press, but that was because I clicked it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, you have to like click it on the right. Look at <laughs> my chat got so spanned right there. Anyway, yeah, you have to put it on the right or click it on the right corner. It gives you that weird error message, which is odd. <laughs> anyway, I'm not 100% sure how this bad boy works. Well, we're going to go ahead and use it. So we need blueprints. Okay. Um, need blueprints. Selecting an idol that should be created. Placed in its drawing table. Alright, I'm guessing these are the blueprints, right? So this one for components. Now where is the this one? Like that? Okay. And then we can click one of those and it needs the items actually. Okay, so after selecting the item that should be created, we'll begin the assembly process. It will need to be supplied. Oh, and power. Of course, got to give it some power. So power will go into here, I believe. Can we do it from the top? Top looks like it's output, right? Okay. So hopefully eh, it should work. We need to grab this and this. Okay, so we'll put you here and then... Oh, we're going to have to go from the ceiling. That's going to be kind of weird. But I'll have to move it later, I suppose. But there we go. Got power going into that bad boy. Right? Yes. Filling up. Wonderful. 
Okay, now we just need to grab some materials. We're going to be making circuits. So I'll just go ahead and look that up. These guys right here. We need vacuum tubes, which is copper wire and redstone. So we need we need a total of three of these circuits, so we need six. And for that we need two of these recipes, so we need two copper. Uh, and we're going to need our redstone chips from Buildcraft. I could not find a Buildcraft battery, as someone suggested in the comments. And there's not, like I said, there's not a lot of Buildcraft power, which just kind of leads me to believe that there has to be some sort of power that you can use instead of Buildcraft power to power this. The fact that you can't use immersive engineering power is just insane to me. <laughs> I can't even comprehend that, but... There has to be an alternate power, because, like, we'll just go over to it real quick. A little detour for the episode. Nope, not building. <laughs> not building. Build craft. We've got, like, floodgates, quarry, filler, but maybe solar panels? I didn't see any, though. Did not see any solar panels. Just these three engines right here, which are just no bueno. <laughs> no bueno at all. Okay, so we need some copper wires. Ow, ow. <laughs> See, that's the problem with having the wire like that. That is the problem. Let me get that back, please. Ow. Jeez, could you stop with the freaking zaps? Uh, and I probably forgot all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but let's just get the... Oh, these are rods. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I needed wires, not rods. Look at me messing things up. Wouldn't be an episode of... Uh... Or it wouldn't be a PB, BPD video, rather, without me messing up. And also without me messing up words, because I do that very, very often. <laughs> Constantly messing up words, but it's okay. Words are hard, man. Can't get them right all the time. And circuit. Dang it, I took away from the circuit. Let's go here, circuit. Wonderful. So we need six of these, which is two builds. Wonderful. Got four wires. Also wonderful. Oh, I still have the <laughs> roadcast. And we're going to need two redstone and some glass. Glass, glass, glass. Uh, glass. We'll just grab all 16 of it for now. And these have to go into the uh, machine over here, right? So I think we can put them, let's see. It goes two wire, one glass, and one redstone. So two redstone, four wire, one glass, two glass. Okay, so there they go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at how, <laughs> how it's kind of putting it together and then pressing it. That's pretty nice. That's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff there. Pretty cool stuff. I think we're going to need now two redstone. Oh, more copper. More copper, got to do this recipe twice, right? No, got to do this recipe three times, so I need three copper plates. We should have six of the tubes. Yes, we do. Wonderful. So three, I have to say this metal press is so nice. Like I made pistons and stuff and just getting gears was so much easier. That's probably the biggest one, I think. Ow, ow. <laughs> the probably the biggest one is gears are just such a huge pain. When you just have to wait for things or for the thing to heat up, it's just ah, uh, it's just it, it's awful. It's awful. All right, get three plates, which will get us three circuits, which will be fantastic, fan freaking fantastic. And then after that, actually, while we or while we're making all this other stuff, we need to get some plates kind of going, some plates primed, prepped, and ready. And we are going to need Dawnstone plates. 24 of them. Nope. One more. Thank you. Let's just throw those in while we're doing everything else over here. Okay. There you go. Make me plates. So then it goes three of this. Six of this. Right. And then... Yep. Yeah, okay. Six and six. Uh, to make circuit. Yes, there we go. Ha ha. Yes. Look at I'm I'm kind of bummed it doesn't change the way it looks when it does that thing. But <laughs> it's still a pretty cool machine as far as machines go. I actually like it. I might continue to use it because it's kind of nice. <laughs> K 
kind of nice. Okay, so we got that, which is good. Now we get to get into our forestry machines, which is actually what this stuff is for. So we're going to be making three forestry machines in total, the carpenter here, and then we're going to be doing the moistener and the squeezer as well. Don't know how much I'll get into those at the moment, but we will just make them anyway. It says that it's used for like crucibles and barrels, so won't have to use those as much for like water and clay and stuff. So maybe it'll be nice. Maybe it'll be nice. <clears throat> Just gotta wait for four more. Almost done. Almost done. Dawnstone, the only way you can get it, by the way, is through that mixer. So far, I think, yeah, an induction. Nope. Yeah, like the only way you can get it is through embers. So I hope we don't need it forever. <laughs> Because I don't want to have to use that embers machine all the time throughout the whole playthrough. That would just be painful. All right. Um, squeezer. Let's just go ahead. Uh, yeah, let's just look up the squeezer real quick. We need to make bronze casings is the first step, which is circuits and the dawn stone plates. So where's my, there it is. Why couldn't I see it? Couldn't see it. Get ourselves three casings for three forestry machines we have glass on us we're gonna need tin and the copper gears i believe is all we need what is this yeah that's 10 okay so we can make the squeezer wonderful then we can make the moistener i think yeah moistener okay and then the last one on the list is the carpenter which is probably a little more complicated i would imagine Oh, bronze. I did make bronze, though. I did make bronze. We need six. Nope, that's Dawnstone. Bronze, there you are. One, two, three, four, five, six. And get ourselves a carpenter. Wonderful. So the other two, they're just going to kind of go in the bag for now. <laughs> Don't really need them at the moment. Uh, let's just go and throw some of this stuff around all over the place. Words, like I said... Freaking words, and it's especially bad tonight, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why. Do not know why. All right, get our inventory straightened out. Wonderful. Carpenter. I do want to use this machine, so... Uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to get rid of these guys. Get rid of these guys. Um, The question is, will I be able to get power into there? Uh, get LV wire connector and this. I just don't know if it's going to collide with anything from here to here. Oh, it didn't. And it is getting power. Wonderful. Okay, so we need to make uh, these guys right here. Refined circuit boards. So let's check out how to make that. Refined. There you are. It needs acid, iron nuggets, and oh, we need more circuits. Okay, well, that's fine. We need... Uh, we'll make three more circuits, because that's a good number, which means we need some more redstone, and we're going to need more copper plates, and we're going to need these things. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> oh, and glass. I have glass. No, I don't have glass. Did I put it in here? No, I put it away. I put it away, away. I'll just grab a bunch of it. A bunch of it. Let's see here, come in here, grab half a stack. Good, good, I'll have to make more glass soon, which shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, well, actually, I might wait. Maybe we'll unlock a better way <laughs> to make glass than having to melt it. Melt it up the way we do. Okay, so we need some wires. We need two sets, no. Uh, it's gonna turn, ow. <laughs> Stop it, please. Stop burning me. All right, so we need two sets of wires. And then it's three plates, right? Circuit. Okay. And yeah, three plates. So there we go. And then get the plate. Boom. In you go. And in you go. And we can make boom, boom, two. To make that yes good 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 got our plates wonderful and once we have our tubes we'll be able to make more circuits this machine is awesome 
The, I didn't. They didn't have this one when I played in uh, Undiscovered. I wonder if it's like new or if I just didn't use it in Undiscovered because this thing is just so nifty. <laughs> So freaking nifty. I need to build a, like, factory thing, especially if we're going to be getting into new machines. Oh, I'm so excited for that, guys. I love new machines. I just, I want a better way to get ores because holy crap is getting iron extremely difficult. Like, oh, I run out of it so often. And you, it requires, like, a bunch of iron to get iron. It's, <laughs> it's insane. All right, so I need 12 of these okay and i'm also going to need to grab a bucket of poison a bucket of poison which is in the world i believe it's just the stuff you have to pay or you can get from right around here i've been digging out ash too <laughs> all kinds of ash where's poison it's you know it's never around when you need it um no, seriously, though, like, isn't. There's lava everywhere. I don't want lava. I want your poison. I want your poison. <laughs> Come on. Poison pool, you can do it. We'll find one, guys. Over the horizon. Uh, no. No. Oh, are you serious? It can't be that rare. It can't be. <laughs> All the poison disappeared. Um, let's go ahead and head to... You know what? I can look at my map. Find out where there's some poison. Is there a poison near one of our checkpoints, though? Because I would like to just boop over there. Uh, you know what? There is one, like, right over here. Right over here. Wonderful. I can actually even see it on my mini-map. I didn't have to open the big map. <laughs> oh, man. I'm great. I am great. I should get a tank of this stuff, too. But, eh, it's not too far away. Let's go back home. Got our bucket of acid. Now we can go ahead and... Whoop, 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 put it into there. Take, uh... What is the recipe for this? Oh, right, the iron nuggets. Take that in there. And then you, like so. And there we go. So we're gonna get ourselves... You know what? Let's just get one... Because I want to keep these circuits for if I need them for anything else. Because I think we only need one for what we're going to be doing next. Which is, oh look, it might be even longer. Oh, <laughs> this doesn't unlock the next phase. That's unfortunate, but that's fine. That's fine. We're still going to do it. Still going to do it. We need tungsten steel. Tungsten steel. So here's tungsten. Tungsten, that's a block of tungsten steel, which there we go. In a kiln requires tungsten and steel, and you can do ingots. Okay, so how much of this tungsten steel do we need? Let's go ahead and check out the basic uh, crafting. There we go. We need, ooh, okay. Two crafting stations. Uh, so that's one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tungsten steel. I don't know if I have that much steel. I've been using a lot of it. A lot of it was used to make the uh, presses. Oh, we have 20 in here. Okay, there we go. So I need 10 of that. I have plenty of tungsten, like 40 or so, I think. Uh, so that's not actually a problem. And we'll throw that in there. We'll grab 10 tungsten. And we need some coal. There we go. And we'll go ahead and make ourselves some tungsten steel. Now, glowstone you get from... Uh, I'll show you guys in just a second. There we go. Two in there. So glowstone is something we're also going to need to get the luminescence. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out that recipe. Glowstone, redstone, and gunpowder. And glowstone you get from hammering the glow tight crystals, but... I actually made a machine. That was something I did forget to mention, actually. <laughs> when I started the episode, this guy right here, the rock crusher. So it'll crush certain things for you. Like, it'll crush the those rock crystals. It'll crush the 
uh, magma rack so that you can get redstone, but it doesn't crush everything. Like, it doesn't act the same as a crushing table. You can't make plates with it or anything like that, but it is nice, and it does have bonus outputs, too, so you'll get some extra. Like, with the magma rack, I think I got 12 extra or something like that from one stack, so it was nice. Not bad, not bad. All right, so where were we at? We were making tungsten steel, and we also need to grab some glowstone, some redstone, and gunpowder, which is down here. Gunpowder. Should have plenty. Eh, kind of plenty. All right, how much of this luminescence do we need? So we need one per one of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you get two per recipe. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and four. There we go. That's eight luminescence. Gunpowder. There you go. And boom, boom. Okay, now we just need our tungsten steel. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I did that wrong. I think you actually need 20. Okay. Oh, dang, that takes forever. Holy crap. I've only made two so far. And because I think it's two per one of these, right? Yeah, and I need 10 of those. So, gonna need, <laughs> should have kept all 20 steel, I guess. One, two, three, four. Gonna have to make more steel, which needs more iron. And look at that, I only have 28 iron. And I'm gonna use like mm, 20 of it to make more strainer things. It's just crazy. It's insane. Um, Tungsten, right. <laughs> My little tirade. There we go. And we're going to have to throw... Oh, I have coal on me. We're good. We're good, guys. I have coal on me. We are fine. So let's go ahead and throw this in here. And it's going to need a lot more coal than I thought. Okay. So what can we do in the meantime? We can do a forestry farm, but oh, man, do I not feel like doing that. Like, just because of what a forestry farm is, I don't think... Like, it's cool and all. It's not a bad farm, but uh, I just... I don't really like it. Not gonna lie, I do not really like it. Ooh, a new world. Maybe that'll get us to where we need to go. Alright, well, we need to wait for this. This is pretty much what we're waiting on, so, uh... It's, I'll do a quick cut. Magic, editing magic. It'll be done for you guys super quick. Uh, but for me, it'll be a little, little while, so I'll see you. <laughs> don't mind me. See you in a little bit. We are at the last one, and I don't know what it is about adding steel into the mix, but once you do that... The process just gets like five times slower. Like steel just inherently makes things slow in Minecraft for some reason. I don't know why. But everything that has to do with steel is just, ooh, snail's pace. <laughs> but we're almost finished here, thankfully. Getting our 19 tungsten steel ingots. I'm excited for the new dimension, to be honest. It's probably going to be expensive to make the portal, but well worth it. Alright, so we need nine of these guys. Okay, and then we need, let's see, two of them to remain, no, just one of them to remain normal. And then the rest of them get turned into these guys. Okay, and then they go like this, and like this, to get that bad boy, and then, boom, we have ourselves the basic crafting table. Did it? Yes, it completed. Oh... It requires essential. I don't know what quest that is. <laughs> uh, probably magical, I would guess. Oh, there we go. Medium pets. Uh, yeah, I'll have to get more into magic, probably. Mm, well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping. <laughs> I was hoping for uh, for a new thing. Okay, and good. We can't put it anywhere. That's good. And it's just like a basic crafting table, but I guess it has like. Oh, you can use it to make the new crafting table. And then it has some recipes. Lower portal stuff. So, so, yeah, I think this is what you use to make the new portals. Probably got to get to Sparks and Batania, I'm guessing. All right. Not bad, but we're not going to be doing that today. Unfortunately, I'm going to gonna get into the magic stuff uh, probably in between episodes. Hopefully get all the pets. I didn't even get any of the animals. I still only have that horse. But I would definitely like to get more of them and make us a farm. I need to make a couple more buildings too. It's just time sometimes, you know. <laughs> just don't have time to do all the things I would like to do in this world. But it's coming along nice, I'd have to say. You know, we've got three relatively decent buildings going on. Nice and spread out. You know, we're 
we're making this wasteland world ours. Our, you know, putting our little touch on it. And it's kind of nice. Digging up all of the ash everywhere. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Good stuff. We'll get into the new portal. Hopefully the new dimension in the next episode. So that'll be fun. And then hopefully, like I said, what I'm really looking forward to is resources. Like, a better way to get resources. Because this is having to use the strainers for, like, iron. Namely, iron. All of our other... Check this out. Hang on a second. Before before we go, check this out. Look at all of our other resources. Silver. Uh, gold's kind of low, too, but that's because I don't use those strainers a lot. But silver. Lead. Tin. Copper. Like, come on. 12 iron. <laughs> Even aluminum. Like, look at that. Aluminum. It's, it's painful. Painful stuff. But, um... And that is going to do it for us here today. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I know I definitely did. I always have fun coming into this world, getting excited about the things to come. <laughs> it's almost like striving for normal Minecraft at this point. You know what I mean? Like a normal world where you can do things a normal way. Because a lot of things done here are slightly different just in inherently because of the biome and everything like that. It's, it's pretty cool. I've been loving this pack. I hope you guys have been joining as well. But that's it. Thank you guys so much. And until I see you again, have a good one.